Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Monica from Crafting with Quilling Lady and I wanted to say Happy New Year everyone. Today I've got three cards for you with a beautiful fairy and some sparkle pens. So if you like any of those cards, I hope you will watch this video, give it a thumbs up and feel inspired. For all my cards today, I use the beautiful stamp set and cutting die from Crafter's Companion called May Your Day Sparkle. And that inspired me to use sparkle pens with those projects. Um, also, we need some watercolor card and I chose the one from Spectre Noir with 300 GSM. Also, I'm going to use sparkle pens from Sheena Douglas called Cool and Calm and clear sparkle pen. On the left hand side I've got watercolor card and I'm applying all the sparkle pens there. As you can see the colors are really bright, vibrant and dark. That's why I wanted to create a color palette for my projects and when the sparkle pens dry they will have even more sparkle. I promise. Here I'm using clear sparkle pen just to spread the color and make beautiful color variation. As you can see these pens are really dark and I wanted my fairies to be a little bit more subtle. So if you use either wet paintbrush or clear sparkle pen you have a beautiful variation for all the dark colors and light colors. Here I've got 12 by 6 inches watercolor card and I'm going to use black waterproof ink to stamp my fairy on the side. As you can see I'm using acrylic block but you can also use stamping platform if you have it or rocker block. The choice is yours. To apply the colors on the fairy I chose the clear sparkle pen and I wanted to apply the subtle colors, so I'm just spreading the color. As you can see, I'm using the lighter color from my palette. And if you have sparkle pens, you know they can last you for a very long time. And they are so pigmented. That's why I, I encourage you to create your own color palette on the side because even when I finished all those cards I still had lots of colors on that piece of watercolor card and I can use them for my future projects. So here I'm actually showing you how you can make your sparkle pens last even longer which is absolutely amazing. And if you don't have a clear sparkle pen, you can use a wet paintbrush. For the fairy skin, I decided to use Aqua Pen from Spectrum Noir. This one comes from Tricolor Set. And I'm applying the color straight on the skin. And then I'm going to use wet paintbrush. So for the fairy skin and the mushroom, I decided to use Aqua Pen because they don't have any sparkle. But if you want to use clear sparkle pen, that's absolutely fine. As you can see, this is super easy to apply the color and spread it on a card. And my tip is, if you use any sparkle pens or watercolor pens or aqua pens, the watercolor card is absolutely amazing to use because the color spreads so easily with water. And you can get such a beautiful watercolor effect. Here again I'm going to use clear sparkle pen and apply more color on the wings. I wanted to have like see-through effect on the wings and I have to say that using the sparkle pen and the light blue we created gives me such a beautiful effect. If you don't have sparkle pens you can use any pens you've got at home. They can be alcohol markers or even colored pencils. The choice is absolutely yours. You can also use watercolor pencils. 
I really encourage you just to have a go at different color combinations, color mixing. For all those colors here, I wanted to stay with the same color family that's in this set. And even the colors are so dark, I was able to create beautiful shades um, going from different shadows and highlights. And you can actually do it with your own art supplies. I'm pretty sure you've got amazing number of either pens or pencils that are on your desk or shelf. I do encourage you, take them out, use them, have some fun and create something absolutely unique and beautiful. Here, as you can see, I decided to use the aqua pen for the mushroom and it's just so easy. So if you use them, you just draw a line or make a mark. And then if you want the lighter color, just apply some water using wet paintbrush. And using those pens is just so easy to create water color effect. If you don't have a fairy stamp, you can use any stamp from your stash. And then you can use scissors to create a beautiful edge. For these cards, I really wanted to try something completely new. Because I've never used over-the-edge stamps and dies. And that was something completely new for me. And I wanted to share that experience with you. The whole video took me around three hours to record. I tried to make it as short as I could. Um, but... I really, really love this technique and I really encourage you to try it. It's something unique and I'm pretty sure if you give it to a recipient, they'll look at it and think, oh, I've never seen such a card before. It's just so unique. For my background here, I started using clear um, sparkle pen and then I'm applying the color straight from the sparkle pens and I'm spreading the colors with the same clear sparkle pen and as you can see here I'm using my watercolor palette on the side to create a border on the card and that actually worked really well I have to say and when you use clear sparkle pen and any sparkle pen uh, as you can see I'm using here for the background you can get a beautiful texture. As you can see, I've got really dark colors and really light colors. But even then, I decided to add a little bit different color to it. And I absolutely love this effect. However, if you use so much sparkle pen, which you will see later on in the video, there is just so much sparkle in some of the spaces here. But I really love this card. And if you don't have the sparkle pens, you can always use colored pencils or watercolor pencils and use just clear sparkle pen on top. Here I'm using my heat gun because I wanted to cut the edge of the card. But first I... I had to make sure that the card is completely dry before I put it in my die cutting machine. And as you can see, the watercolor palette I created made a beautiful line here. It's really clean. Here I'm applying uh, one of the dies using washi tape and I'm going to die cut the side of the card. And now we need to use scissors to create a border and that's it. As you can see, super simple. I'm using a scoring board because um, we need to fold the card somehow, right? But I decided uh, my front to be a little bit longer, as you can see. Um, and now it looks really nice. So we can see the white background on the left hand side. Sorry, on the right hand side. Here I'm going to use Versamark and I use anti-static bag and we need to stamp a sentiment which I use from um, the stamp set we've got with the fairy and I'm going to use gold embossing powder. 
I'm also going to use some beautiful flowers from the set. These are really tiny, but even then they give you really nice effects. You can use any embossing powder you've got. It's absolutely fine. And now I'm going to use the heat gun. Just make sure you preheat it before you put it on the card for about 10 seconds. And now our sentiment is done and I fussy cut it and I'm going to add a little bit more interest to it using our sparkle pens. And our first cut is nearly done. It just needs a little bit um, more interest, as you will see in a second. So here I actually put double-sided foam adhesive, so it stands out a little bit. Unfortunately, the video doesn't catch it. Here uh, I decided to add a little bit of blue ribbon. And I'm using uh, my light here just to make sure um, we won't get any thread from the ribbon because it's satin. And then I'm going to use double sided adhesive and I used um, red liner type because it's super strong and it will hold the ribbon for a very, very long time and I don't have to worry about it. As you can see, applying the ribbon, it's actually pretty simple. If you want inside, you can put a piece of uh, white card just to cover the edges of the ribbon. And our first card is nearly done. It wouldn't be me if I didn't add any gold gems. So here they are, beautiful small gems. And that will give even more interest to our card and a little bit of 3D to it. I'm using liquid glue to apply the gold gems. And I have to say that I really like this card. I really hope you like it too. So that's our first card done. I really, I would really love to know what you think of it. Please leave the link, uh, sorry, please leave your comment down below. Here I've got another 6 by 12 inches watercolor card and I stamped my fairy in the middle. As you can see, it didn't stamp as well as I did for the first time, but that's okay. We're going to fix it later. And again, I'm using clear sparkle pen and I and I'm applying the color from my watercolor palette I created earlier. As you can see, it's just so super simple because I used waterproof black ink. So the black lines don't spread and it doesn't bleed to the image, which is absolutely amazing. When you, when you stamp and then you want to color anything, I do encourage you to use the tools um, for your projects that they won't bleed or won't spread. So here, as you can see, I'm using waterproof ink with sparkle pens because they're water-based. So if you use any alcohol markers, you have to use an ink that goes well with the alcohol markers. So then the lines don't bleed. Um, okay, so here I've got black fine liner and I'm going to fix all the lines. Actually, it is super easy. Just before you use the fine liner, I do encourage you to dry your card. Either just leave it to dry or you can use a heat gun. Because if it, everything is wet, the fine liner will bleed. Okay, and again, here I'm using a clear sparkle pen and I'm applying all the colors on the fairy. For the skin and the mushroom, I chose Aqua Marker from Spectre Noir and I'm using wet paintbrush to spread the color. As you can see, it is super easy and quick and I really like the effect you can create because we can see all the shadows and highlights everywhere and this is absolutely amazing. If you have any fairy card or anything like fantasy related, I would really love to see your projects. 
please leave the link down below to your project so I can have a look and admire your beautiful creation. Here I'm finishing off with the mushroom here and I'm applying all the color with wet paintbrush and as you can see, you can see the light here which is absolutely beautiful and here I decided to use um, the dye on the left hand side so we actually have the wings um, die cut and I'm using the scoreboard just to make sure I fold the card where it should be and even then it didn't cut to the folded lines so I'm going to use scissors but when you use them just make sure you don't cut the entire card so here as you can see we've got our fairy on the left hand side and then I decided to cut uh, the right hand side a little bit because the card was too big even then I uh, cut it a little bit more here I'm using anti-static bag and I'm going to use the beautiful stars from the stamp set May Your Day Sparkle, which is actually the same with the fairy. And I'm using Versamark to apply uh, the stamp here. And then I'm going to use the same gold embossing powder I used before. You know how to heat emboss, so you don't have to watch me doing it here. And then I decided to cut um, the right hand side a little bit. So the card is a little bit smaller. For the background here, I chose the darker colors of sparkle pens and I applied all the colors here and I'm using clear sparkle pen to spread the color around. And as you can see, I try to have darker top and then lighter bottom. And with this technique, it is really easy to add and spread color. I do encourage you to experiment with your beautiful pens and pencils. Seriously, matching and mixing them is absolutely amazing and you can have so much fun. And also, uh, if you use any sparkle pens, you can use spray bottle and you will see me doing it here. And then you can have even better watercolor effect so as you can see i'm spraying uh my my background here but i covered the fairy and then i'm using tissue just to get the excess of the color and we have such a beautiful texture on the card and i heat emboss um and fussy cut the sentiment and i did it on a gold mirror card and our second card is done actually it was much more easier than the first one and much quicker. Now let's have a look at the two cards we've created so far side by side so you can compare them. I would really like to know which one is your favorite so far. Okay so now we can have a look at the card number three and again we're going to use six by uh, 12 inches white card and I'm going to stamp my fairy in the middle uh, of my front panel and again I'm going to use the same sparkle pens from my palette you don't have to watch me coloring it because it's exactly the same process as before and this time I use the cutting die to die cut the top I'm using scissors just to get the excess and make sure that it fits properly on a card with the scissors you can always make some adjustments as you can see me doing here now i'm going to use aqua pen from spectre noir and apply it on a mushroom with the wet paintbrush as before and with these pens you can get such a beautiful color variation is so easy to do this time I decided to heat emboss the background and I'm using all the stamps from uh, the same stamp set May Your Day Sparkle from Crafters Companion and I use anti-static bag and I'm using Versamark ink which is transparent and very sticky. For all the elements here I chose gold embossing powder 
which really stands out with the dark colors from sparkle pens. And I have to say that I really, really like this effect. It's exactly the same as the one we had with gold stars for the background. And when you use any sparkle pens, water, color pens, aqua pens, use heat embossing because it resists the color and it gives such a beautiful effect. And even when you look from the side, it gives you a little bit of 3D look as well, which is absolutely amazing. So here I'm using heat gun just to make sure the powder melts properly. And also I'm going to add these beautiful flowers on the inside of the card and my sentiment. It's super easy to do and super quick. As you can see here, I'm applying the sparkle pens around the flowers and fairy just to have a really nice effect. And I think it will give my card a little bit more interest. And with the colors you created on the watercolor card, which is your palette, you can really experiment with the colors. And this is so unique about this set. Even when you have different colors, they will work together really well because they were chosen um, by special artists to create beautiful new colors when you mix them. Okay, so going back to our projects, um, I'm pretty sure you already started crafting this year and I would really love to see your creations. Or if you feel inspired by my video, either using a fairy stamp or any fantasy stamp from your stash or creating over the edge look, I would really love to see your projects. So please leave the link down below in the comment section. Also in the description, I will leave uh, the names of the, um, uh, of the pens and also the stamp set and cutting die. So you can check it out there. And our card is nearly done. I also added some gold gems to my card and it's done. And now you can see all three cards side by side. I would really like to know which one is your favorite. Would you like to have a fairy on the side or would you like to die cut the top of the card? Have a wonderful day. I really hope you feel inspired and create something unique. Happy crafting. Bye.